I had an idea. Um, and I shouldn't say it's just my idea, because it certainly wasn't. There's a group of folks, most of whom are still here, that we decided, you know what? Let's start our own business. Let's look at the pediatric world. Um, it's not much attended. There isn't much competition in that area, and we kind of like it, and we do it pretty well. So let's, let's do that. And so that's exactly what we did. We got together, we incorporated, we uh, um, started a little tiny office um, while we looked for space, and um, we opened our doors on, I believe, January 3rd in 1990. Our goal was to just ensure that children have the right to grow up in their homes, not in the hospitals. And it was revolutionary in the early uh, 1990s. Believe me, late 80s, 1990s, this didn't happen. Um, and it only happened because we had a group of pediatric pulmonologists that came in and said, these kids don't belong in the hospital, let's get them the heck out. And they did. We did that by the provision of things like ventilators and heat and humidity systems and apnea monitors and oximeters. It was a very technically driven company that believed that there was one thing that was important and that was we took care of the kid. Families had kind of a mixed bag reaction to it, which is, first of all, they wanted their kids home so badly, that was great. But you have to understand, on a Monday morning, you are in an intensive care unit, and on a Tuesday morning, you're in your own home. And it's scary. It's really, really scary. So parents were delighted for it, but certainly they were scared to death about what kind of risk were they taking. Were they indeed making um, their children guinea pigs to a new idea. I think the first thing that happened is the pioneers, those parents that just said, okay, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I might be worried sick, but I'm gonna do it. They got an extended hour of care nursing agency in there. They had us, they had physicians who did home visits, still do home visits, if you can believe that, in 2010. Um, they um, got a school system that was prepared to support them. And I think how you finally got people to just kind of relax was when the kid went home, stayed home, and nothing bad happened. It wasn't really of our doing, but it was of the families just going, well, hey, you know what, this is working. What I think we do here um, to, to kind of excel is to remember that um, we're taking care of some of the most vulnerable people in, in, in the country. And these are kids that are going to be just like you and me. And our job is to participate and support that family in getting that baby over the hump. That's why we um, spend so much time remembering these are lives. These just aren't some kind of number, some kind of insurance company uh, um, ID number. This is a real life kid out there that, that could be your brother or your sister or your own kid. And so um, I think that's how we got here.